my name is Jaesung Park, and in this video, I will discuss the paper HMPO Human Motion Prediction in Occluded Environment for Safe Motion Planning. When the robot and the human are in the same space, there is a chance for the robot to occlude the human in the input images. For example, when the robot arm moves upward, then it completely occludes the human as shown in the right image. Then the human skeleton joint tracking may be lost, the human intention prediction fails, and the collision avoidance fails, which is critical for human safety. To handle the robot occlusions, I suggest an algorithm HMPO, human motion prediction with occlusions. There are three main steps in HMPO for handling occlusions. We first modify RGBD datasets for training, predict the future human pose, and then construct an optimization problem with occlusion-related cost functions. For training, we use the RGBD datasets called UtConnect, Watch and Patch, and Occlusion Mocap. The dataset consists of RGB images, depth images, human skeleton joint positions, and action labels. To make a training dataset, the robot arm images are overlaid, and we mark the, the action labels as occluded if the robot arm occludes more than half of human joints. For feature extraction from the modified dataset, we use convolutional neural network and as a pre-processing, we crop images around human and we use pre-trained ResNet18 to get feature vectors. The next layer is long short-term memory where feedback loops in the neural net uh, memorize previous states. The output is the prediction of joint positions and the certainty value in range of 0 and 1. Certainty value 1 means that the robot could clearly see the human, whereas 0 means that the human is occluded by the robot and it could not predict human motion. We define occlusion-related cost functions for occlusion-aware motion planning. Collision avoidance cost function is defined as sum of penetration depth between predicted human joint positions and the robot. The occlusion cost function is sum of 1 minus certainty. Minimizing this function helps removing occlusions on the human. Without considering uh, occlusions, human skeleton tracking is lost when occluded, when the robot arm moves from right to left and bottom to up. Occlusion-aware motion planning, however, can avoid occlusion when future robot configurations will occlude the human. It makes the detour toward left bottom. Let's see the consecutive frames to see the difference. This is a simulation video with 7 degree of freedom fetch robot arm and a head mounted RGBD uh, robot camera. The color video is occluded by the robot arm captured by the head mounted robot camera. With occlusion aware motion planning planner, the arm first move to uh, reduce the level of occlusion by making a detour. On the other hand, the baseline planner fails to generate a collision-free path when the robot arm occludes the human and the human joint positions are not available. The red tra trajectory is generated by the occlusion-aware motion planner and the blue trajectory is generated by the baseline planner. 